What the fuck is this piece of shit? How's it going, you glorious bastards? My name is Fox Soul. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another video here on Lords of the Fallen. And today we're going to be discussing the new patch notes for update version 1.1.362, the weekly updates of Lords of the Fallen. And I'm actually kind of surprised with a surprise. I've already took a little bit of a read on this, and it doesn't seem like they did actually much of anything that is going to be game breaking. So far that I know. So let's just get right into it. And it's an eight minute read. Pretty much just to let you guys know, like they normally do the, you know, the greed and lamp bearers. We trust by now you've been having a full indoctrinated by the way of the bucket. Released last week. This is the latest of the series of new quest lines arriving to Mornstern before the end of the year. Believe you us. There's plenty more to come as hinted by our content roadmap. Dun, dun, dun. But <laughs> in any case, basic highlights on this is AI adjustments, more refinements to the matchmaking for co-op, and significant performance optimization. So let's really go dive deep into the multiplayer. In the multiplayer, apparently they have adjusted matchmaking to be more flexible. Excuse me. More flexible with ping requirements to allow a broader and quicker result. They fixed an issue to where invading player could get blocked by the praying enemies at the path of the devotion memorial. And they fixed an issue where it could occur when spectating the host in the uh, pita bread fucking uh, boss encounter. Okay. Not would probably want to f hear in multiplayer. Maybe, you know, we want to see where it's going on with the adjustable times. You know, it seems like PVP is not really there right now that people are having issues with that. Um. Oops. Oh, look at that. Remind me later. I don't want to update right now. Screw you. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. Wow. There's other things that we begin looking at. I mean, go off the online network post is still. It's still something, you know, but it's better. I think, I think, you know, them not actually going directly hard into changing a whole bunch of things at one time right now and taking their time, fixing more of the ping requirements and such. It seems like it's a better, better issue. So far, I'm actually presently surprised. Performance. Um, they have done a few things for performance wise, uh, past to reduce the number of actors casting shadows, uh, past to reduce the number of actors casting shadows, basically at the Hamlet, at Jill Curse, Pilgrim's Perch, Sanctuary Baptisms, Defiled, so forth and so forth. Overall optimization of past the fifth in the church and lower calf. So I guess we got a good bit of performance updating with them basically fixing the casting of shadows, small minor details. So fingers crossed that that's going to be really good. Uh, they tweaked the Lander's camera behavior to be smoother and less disruptive in battle combat. I like, I like to hear, I like the sound of that. They fixed the camera issue which could cause unattentive behaviors when falling enemies that were locked on. Okay. And then we get to AI. This is the first time I don't see nothing about bosses. I don't see nothing about, you know, true hard coded, you know, issues. And right here we got, you know, fix an issue with the holy bald work that could teleport back and fully heal and lure him too far away. Uh, tweak the marksman's behavior to shoot one bolt per reload and improve his rotation rate slightly. Tweak the trapdoor's moral rate of fire to behave more consistently and prevent stun locking the player. Ooh. So the mortar rate now fire behaves more consistently and prevents stun locking the player. I, that that's a good change of its own. I know exactly that issue. I've had that happen a few times. Uh fix an issue where enemies could get stuck while rotating in place in rare circumstances. Fix an issue preventing the womb of despair to spawn when striking the corresponding statues at the Forsaken Fin. Okay, good, good. Level design. Fix an issue that allows players to emerge in the, let's see, to emerge in the umbral during the battle near the, okay. Uh, fix, I don't know, an umbral dual realm fence to the balcony of the Brimus Castle. Reposition an event trigger to prevent players from skipping the tower near optional boss account of the Light Reaper. I think I know exactly what that one is because I use that all the time. 
Ah, uh, added the umbral dual realm fence and sky and skyless uh, sunless sky, uh, skin. Added torch. Added a torch to highlight a new gate as sunless skin. Okay. So far, nothing horrible. Nothing bad. We have a couple collision fixes. Okay, they fix like the adjusting moth walls prevent players from leaving the holy ball work on auto boss encounter. Uh, fixed collision issue where players could climb out of the gameplay area and fall out of the world near the mini uh mini boss encounter. Uh yeah. Yeah. Fixed collision allow players to reach unintentional areas near the vestige of Lydia Numb Witch. Okay. Fix some visual glitches when stimulating the cloth of uh when simulating the cloth for outfits of Iron Wayfair or and Vanguard, fix visual glitches of the bucket lord by adjusting the head and leg buckets. Fix visual glitches in the bucket lord's gear by adjusting the head and the bucket legs. Okay, I'll, I want to see that because I know exactly the issue here. Fix issue that could result in player's character clipping through umbral assets. Okay, update it and improve materials for certain umbral gear. Beautiful, 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 beautiful so far. Fix an issue where items could get destroyed upon upon pickup while inventory was full. Affected items would now be dropped to the ground. Okay. Fix an issue where umbral eyes could not be dropped. Holy shit, we can fucking drop umbral eyes now? Oh, I can't wait to test that tonight. Fix an issue where new marker items and inventory would re reset in certain multiplayer situations. Fix an issue where items dropped by umbral statues would not appear in the player's inventory after being picked up. And fix an audio issue when transitioning to certain areas in... Oh my gosh. Okay, right here. If this is what I think this is, fix an issue where umbral eyes could not be dropped. Bruh. We are going to so dupe the fuck out of the eyes. And who, wa who wants a Reaper eye? That's all I'm going to say. Who the fuck wants a Reaper eye? Because I'm going to be handing that shit out like candy if that's what I think that is. We're going to see. We will be playing later tonight. Um, after probably 3 p.m. Central Time Zone, we will jump into the game right after I get off of work. Because right now it's a hell of a fucking day. And I can't just get off of work right now. But so far, this legitimately... It's the one time I got to say, bravo, devs. Um, Unless otherwise something does break because of your updates, this is a good update. I, I have nothing but positivity to say about this. This especially fixing an issue where Umbrise could not be dropped. Um, This legitimately is a really good update. This is... This is what I expect if you are going to do a weekly update. You're going to do a weekly update that fixes performance issues. It's going to fix multiplayer issues. It's going to work on the camera. Some slight AI tweaks. Some level design tweaks. Some collision issues. Some visuals. Some UI. Some audio issues. You save true adaptive basic boss redesigns. You save true adaptive other issues that's coming along you know pvp balancing pve balancing in bigger patches something that's once a month bi-weekly not something that comes all in a weekly rotation that's the biggest problem i have with this game is because when you see nothing but weekly updates that are truly destroying built and nerfing builds that is making the game to where it doesn't have a chance to breathe to where last week you played one way and this week you play another way. In all honesty, seeing smaller updates that are weekly and then preparing for a big update. That's what I like to see. That's how majority of games handle it. And you know what, if we can go in this route to where, you know, the next update would be a big update. I'm all for it. And then after that, you do two or three weeks, you know, of nothing but small updates that's just fixing performance issues and then we move on to the next big update that sounds great to me bra fucking no bra fucking no all i can say is is that this legitimately you son of a bitch is over there at fucking ci games you fucking got me you fucking got me oh, no. 
So <laughs> good update. I actually think this is a really good update. I think this is on a positive note that I cannot wait to actually play this update tonight and see all this and prepare. If this, if this, all this is good, I can't wait for our event that we were planning to do on Friday night or Saturday. So before I let you guys go on this update video, we're going to take the chance right here to go ahead and thank 71 channel members on this channel for being a part of this, being with y'all patronage, with y'all comments, with everything y'all coming into the live streams here on YouTube. Thank you so much. I hope to see you guys tonight as well to come in on the new update. And basically, let's all sit down and sing Kubaya and have a good old time because if, especially with the ability to drop the umbral eye is actually a thing and that's what it what i think it's going to do oh lordy 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 we're gonna have some fun <laughs> until next time guys i'll catch you in the next video right here on the channel take it easy come check us out on the live streams they're a lot more chill than what you might actually think i am a lot of people might think i spread nothing but negativity but hey this is actually a positive and I like it. I want to see more of it. So until next time, guys, see you on the flip side. Peace.